In the dead of night, a group of friends ventured into the heart of a dense forest, seeking the solace of a river known for its whispered secrets. Adam, Sarah, Mark, and Lisa had come to fish, their laughter mingling with the gentle rustle of leaves as they cast their lines into the murky waters. As the moon rose high in the sky, bathing the forest in an eerie glow, the friends heard it, a faint, chilling scream that seemed to echo from the other side of the river. Fear crept into their hearts, chilling them to the core. What was that? Sarah whispered, her voice barely audible over the rustling of the leaves. Mark's hand shook as he reeled in his line. I, I don't know, he stammered, but we should leave. Now, as if in agreement, another scream pierced the night, louder and more desperate this time. The friends exchanged horrified glances, their minds racing with fear. We need to go, Adam said, his voice low and urgent. Something's not right here. Gathering their belongings, the group waded across the river, the water cold and biting against their skin. As they reached the other side, they saw a figure standing at the edge of the forest, their back to them. The figure was hunched over, their body convulsing as if in pain. Hello, Lisa called out, her voice trembling. The figure suddenly straightened up, its head snapping towards them with an unnatural speed. It was a woman, her face obscured by shadows. She took a step towards them, her movements jerky and erratic. Please, help me, she whispered her voice filled with anguish. Before the friends could react, the woman turned and disappeared into the forest, leaving them standing there, paralyzed with fear. We'd have to follow her, Sarah said, her voice barely above a whisper. She might be in danger. Reluctantly, the group ventured into the forest, the trees closing in around them like gnarled fingers. The further they went, the darker and more twisted the path became, until they could barely see a few feet in front of them. As they pushed through the dense undergrowth, the screams grew louder, more desperate. They were getting closer. Suddenly, the forest fell silent. The friends stopped in their tracks, a sense of foreboding washing over them. And then they heard it. A blood-curdling scream coming from somewhere in the bushes just ahead. Without hesitation, they ran, the branches clawing at their clothes and skin. The screams followed them, echoing through the forest, driving them forward in blind terror. Finally, they burst into a small clearing, gasping for breath, but their relief was short-lived as they realized they were not alone. Standing in the center of the clearing was the woman, her eyes empty and lifeless. She was surrounded by a group of figures, their faces hidden in the shadows. Who are you? Adam demanded, his voice trembling. The figures remained silent, their presence oppressive and menacing. We mean you no harm, Lisa said, her voice shaking. Please, let us go. But the figures did not move, their gaze fixed on the friends with an intensity that sent shivers down their spines. And then, without warning, they attacked. The friends fought back, their screams blending with those of their assailants. But the figures were relentless, their movements swift and precise. In the chaos, Mark stumbled and fell, a figure looming over him, its face contorted in a macabre grin. With a cry of terror, Mark pushed himself up and ran, the others following close behind. They would ran until their legs gave out, collapsing on the forest floor, gasping for air. As they lay there, shaking with fear and exhaustion, they heard the whispers, faint, insidious whispers, coming from the shadows around them. We will never let you leave, the whispers said, their voices echoing in their minds. And then, darkness engulfed them, and they knew they were lost forever in the depths of the haunted forest. The river's whispers had claimed them, their fate sealed by the horrors that lurked within its depths. If you are enjoying this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.